Good morning guys, happy Tuesday. I hope you're having a wonderful day. For those of you who are new here, my name's Amanda. I'm a third year vet student and a welcome to another day in vet school. I have a pretty busy day today, including an in-person lab as well as a couple lectures this morning. So get comfy, grab a coffee, and let's get to it. Now that I've got my coffee, the plan for today is to get through a couple of lectures this morning. They're pre-recorded, so I'm hoping to get through them pretty quickly. Then I'm going to spend the rest of the day preparing for my lab this afternoon because it is an exciting one. I am going to campus to do my fake spay lab. So we actually did this lab last year. However, we're doing it again this year because in a little over a month, I will actually be doing my first ever real live surgery. So today's lab is basically walking us through the entire surgical procedure from prepping our patients to gowning and gloving and scrubbing in and all that stuff going through the entire surgery on models so that in a month's time when we go to do the real thing we've walked through all of the steps and it's basically muscle memory at this point. I will say I'm a little bit more nervous for this year's lab versus last year's because now it feels like the real thing. Last year we just went and did it and it was fun and it was exciting and then this year it's a little bit more pressure because in a month it's not going to be a fake model anymore. It's going to be a real animal. So that's the plan for today. Um, I'm going to bring you guys along as I go through it and as I prepare for my first surgery. So it is time to go through those first two lectures of the day. I just got finished with this morning's lectures. Now I'm gonna practice my suturing for today as well as go through the spay procedure from start to finish. I think I actually might make a study guide for it, almost like a step-by-step -step manual of the surgery so that I can really get it stuck in my head and make sure that I'm not thinking about it when it comes time to doing the surgery and I feel really comfortable with what comes next. So that is what I'm gonna do for the rest of the morning until I have to leave for lab this afternoon. I've got my suture pad and my suture all set up to practice suturing for the spay surgery. The three main patterns that we need to be proficient in are the simple continuous, a simple interrupted, and then a cruciate pattern. We also need to be able to bury our knots for a simple continuous pattern. That is something that I struggle with a little bit. I'm typically pretty good at burying my first knot of the suture line, but then when I get to the end of the suture line and I have to bury that knot, that's the one I typically struggle with. So I'm probably going to focus on using that a lot today. The model that we use for the actual spay surgery is basically like a foam tube that has three different layers so it acts as the three different tissue layers. However, I've used mine since first year and at this point it's pretty much destroyed so I've been using this like silicone suture pad that I got off of Amazon and it works pretty well. I do find it a little bit difficult to bury the knot just because the incision is not super deep on it but it is held up much better than that foam roll that we were using because um, I I can barely suture on that foam roll anymore just because I've done it so many times. The foam is just like crumbling and falling apart. So this is what I'm going to be using to practice today. And then I've also just got a bunch of expired practice suture that I'll be using to practice those sutures with. So I'll also leave those products linked down below if you guys want to check them out. And I'll also link my Amazon storefront with all of my vet school essentials in case you guys need to pick up anything for vet school or you just want to see what I use as essential products for vet school. Anyway, I'm going to go practice these suture patterns now so that hopefully when I get to lab this afternoon, there's no issues. It's been a while since I've actually sutured and I'm realizing that now because uh, it's not coming back as easily as I thought it would. 
basically the last time I sutured was before exams in April so it's been quite a few months and the patterns that we did a lot in second year are coming back a lot easier so the simple continuous simple interrupted those ones are good but burying the knot I definitely had to rewatch the video a couple times to remember how to actually bury it I did want to say for anyone who is starting vet school for anyone who is interested in learning how to suture the two biggest things that I had to learn before I started was how to hold my instruments correctly I don't know why but it took me a really long time to get into the habit of using my thumb and my ring finger to hold my needle drivers and to hold the tissue forceps the right way like a pencil versus barbecue tongs this is not the right way to hold your forceps you got to hold them like a pencil like that so if you are wanting to learn to suture definitely start by getting used to holding things like this because for some reason, this did not come easily. I'm gonna do a couple more suture patterns and then I'm gonna go through the spay surgery and practice applying my three clamp technique. Just realized that I don't have as many clamps as I thought, so I'm gonna be using bobby pins to uh, clamp my pedicle, which not ideal, but it's what I got. So this is what you have to do when you're learning how to do surgery in your bedroom. bobby pins actually worked pretty well for clamps um, and visualizing where they needed to go. You can learn from home. You can learn from anywhere. Welcome to vet school. So now I'm feeling pretty good about my sutures. I'm feeling pretty good about my clamp placement. Now I'm going to go through the entire surgery from start to finish just to make sure that I didn't miss any steps and so that when I go into the lab this afternoon I don't even really have to think about it. I can just go through the surgery. It'll just hopefully pop into my mind and everything will go smoothly. On a side note, I just got my vet prep Navali question right today and it is so weird how this happens but we just learned about lipoma and we just had our oncology lectures and today's question was about diagnosing a lump on a dog based on the histology report and I was like wow just learned this and I got it right so clearly I retained some information in class so that's great and yeah these dosa vet prep questions have been really great and I'll be honest I get more wrong than I get right but recently I've been getting quite a few correct so that's making me happy and although I'm not actively studying for my navali right now these are just nice refresher questions or just like at least a little look at what the Navali is going to be, so I'm definitely enjoying my daily dose questions. I just finished up making my study guide for the spay procedure. I managed to narrow it down to about two pages. I wanted to keep it as concise as possible while still making sure I got all of the steps in, so I'm going to go have lunch, then review that document a couple times, and then get ready for lab. Ooh, also someone asked me what courses I'm taking in third year, and I realized that I never actually mentioned that in a video, so this year we're currently taking 10 courses, which is a lot. I'm a little bit overwhelmed, I'm not gonna lie, but the 10 courses that we're taking are clinical medicine, art of veterinary medicine, health management, surgery and medicine of dog and cat, food animal surgery and medicine, equine surgery and medicine, comparative medicine, clinical pharmacology, and systems pathology. I think that was all of them, right? Honestly, I can't even keep track of them. There's so many. But the cool thing about this year is that we actually get some choice in the courses that we take. So in in first and second year everyone takes the exact same courses we don't have an option that's you're enrolled in the courses and that's what you're taking however in third year although most of our courses are like that we do have an option when it comes to our health management course so our health management this year is actually broken down into a bunch of different modules on different topics and we only have to take two of the modules for credit and then we can audit as many as we want but we get to choose which modules that we take the modules themselves are only about three weeks long so for health management I did choose to take the companion companion animal module as well as the small ruminant module. I'm currently in the companion animal module and my final for that is actually on Monday of next week so that's coming up real quick and then I start the small ruminant module right after that so I will officially be done with health management by the end of October which is pretty sweet so I'll be down to nine courses come November which I am really looking forward to. <laughs> Whoa look at that transition. Okay it's time to go. I'll see you later. Hello, 
I just finished my surgery. I am like disgustingly sweaty. It was really hot in there. My face shield kept fogging up and getting sweaty and I couldn't see out of it. And it was just a whole issue. But the surgery itself went really well. I remembered a lot and I'm happy with how everything went. And I'm feeling a little bit more prepared for our real surgeries. But I'm gonna head home now and get something to eat because I am starving. And while I was in surgery, I realized I have to water my plants. So I need to do that when I get home. I can't forget. It is quite a bit later now, but I am going to try and get through a couple lectures that we actually have tomorrow tonight so that I have more time to study for my upcoming final tomorrow. Um, but because that is not very interesting, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video now. So I will talk to you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing what another day in vet school is like for a third year vet student preparing for their upcoming surgeries. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.